hello dear students today in this video we are going to talk about the book list you require to start your csrnet 2024 december physical sciences exam preparation now although i know like uh, maximum of you uh, basically depends on the coaching notes whatever notes the coaching centers provide to you you just go through them but that is good or okay for the for clearing the exam but you need to also have some standard textbooks for each subjects and that will help you in long run it will not only help you in clearing the exams like net tifr jest gate etc it will also help you to clear a interviews after that because the notes which you get prepared automatically those notes contain only the uh, exclusive information the important information but you to understand the whole picture you need to understand the background also and that is why reading standard textbook is very necessary although you may not get sufficient time to read it but i think you should keep in mind few uh, uh, reference books for all the subjects for long term benefits although you will not read the standard textbook heavily but you will have some idea let's say uh, from the coaching center notes you are covering a particular topic and some topics may appear to be little bit difficult to you in that case you can go through the standard textbook to understand it more getting the concept is very crucial from the coaching center notes also you will be able to understand like 80 to 90 uh, percent of the concepts but few concepts are there which are little difficult to understand from the notes in that case you need to go through the standard textbooks okay so today in this video we are going to talk about very minimum list i can give you a list of five six subject five six books per subject but that will even burden your uh, preparation so that is why i will be giving you the minimum books which you must have for this preparation okay so this go this video is going to be very helpful to all of you now without any further ado let's start the so standard textbooks for csrnet physical sciences preparation we'll start uh, with the first subject uh, we'll go in a systematic way the first subject in your uh, syllabus is mathematical physics and i think you all of you know what is the standard textbook for this look some foreign writer textbooks are also there but uh, those textbooks may not be helpful or useful to many students okay na you should have a decent background of the subject or you should, you should have decent knowledge of the subject then only you will be able to understand the foreign author's book okay so keeping that thing in mind i am telling you i am giving you those books which are may be written by indian author or maybe some foreign authors but those books are easy or useful the term i should use useful rather than easy or difficult okay so for mathematical physics you know that book a book is there by uh, mathematical physics by hk das this is a very popular book hk das and uh, another writer is there uh, rama barma okay they combined he uh, wrote this book hk das and rama barma this is the one book you can keep and look this will cover almost uh, all the topics of your mathematical physics portion to cover some advanced topic like partial differential equations and green's function all those things you can refer this book by advanced engineering mathematics by erwin krejcik okay advanced engineering mathematics by erwin krejcik uh, this book you can easily get in pdf form you just simple do google search and you will get so these two books okay i uh, other books are there are uh, sorry arfken spygel all those books are there but i think if you only keep these two books that will be sufficient for you you have to minimize your resources otherwise you will get confused and you will not read anything so go with minimum resources next subject is classical mechanics for classical mechanics i think most of you will be agree with this book by J. C. Upadhyaya. Okay. J. C. Upadhyaya. 
Gupta Kumar Sharma is another similar book, but Jesse Upadhyay is better. This one, this is one book. I think one book is sufficient for uh, covering the whole classical mechanics. You can go for Goldstein and all those books. You can keep it. But if you have to keep only one book, then that book will be J. C. Upadhyay. So third, we are going to electromagnetic theory. Electromagnetic theory. Here one book will be sufficient, and everything is there. Whatever is there in the C. S. N. Net syllabus, all content will be there in the in that book. The book is by uh, Introduction to Electrodynamics by David. J. Griffith. I don't need to write the full name of the book because this is a very popular book. I think all of you know. Other than that, if you want to keep um, some um, uh, standard books like Jackson is there, but this one book will be sufficient. Fourth, quantum mechanics. For quantum mechanics, for net perspective, the book which is most useful for net aspirants that is. Nureddin Zetili, okay. Zetili. This one book has enough concept as well as practice problems. Other than that, for concept, brief concept, if you want to develop concept in a very precise manner, that will be that book by David J. Griffith. Okay. These two books are sufficient. Another book is there. Uh, if you find these uh, la the languages uh, to be difficult. You can go for this one book, which is which is very easy language. G. Arul Das, like this is the easiest book I have seen on quantum mechanics. G. Arul Das, it uh, it has two it it has two books. One for the theory book, another book comes with 500 quantum mechanical problem. Both books you can uh, get it on uh, by simple Google search. PDF also available, I think. Fifth one, fifth uh, thermal physics, thermal. and statistical both so for thermal and statistical a very easy book uh, i personally recommend is ab gupta a book is there by ab gupta this book is written very simple language so you can go through this book ab gupta another standard book we have garg banshal and goes this book is also very good i have read both the books and third book r k patharia this is a little bit advanced book but this book is good for conceptual understanding of the statistical mechanics so these three books are enough okay any the first two book is necessary very necessary you can buy any of them if you want to buy one book then every book will be suitable garg bansal both are equally good arke patria this book you can get it in the pdf format so let's go for the sixth uh, topic sixth topic is electronics an experimental method so the first book is boyle start this pdf is also available boyle start book and another book is there by for the digital part especially digital electronics this book is by melvino and leach melvino and leach spelling whatever it is melvin and leach so these are the uh, six subjects let's go for the seventh one seventh one what is that subject i think atomic molecular yes atomic and molecular physics you, you all know what should what book should be recommended here atomic and molecular physics i think the atomic physics is given in a very good way in the book written by rajkumar this book is very good this is for atomic molecular part i think also there but for if you want to keep a separate book for molecular physics you can uh, refer to this book uh, i have just written it fundamental of molecular spectroscopy molecular spectroscopy by banwell banwell and uh, some foreign writer name m c kas what a strange name anyways for the eighth subject we have condensed matter physics right look condensed matter physics there are lot of good books any you can follow but i personally suggest you to follow this book by puri and babba the speciality of this book is it is written in a very simple language 
well structured and very small size and cover the csr net physical science syllabus properly other than that if you want to keep another book one another book which is also very easy book by sop lai so these two books you can keep and many other books are there okay M Ali Omar, a book by M Ali Omar is there. If you are very interested in quantum matter physics, if you are interested in research, then you can go by uh, go by, to buy book that book by M Ali Omar. Another book is there. I am forgetting the name. Very popular. I think you are getting my point. What was the name of that book? Quantum matter physics by. Um, anyways, I am forgetting, but I think you know what it is. Nuclear physics. Nuclear. physics for nuclear physics we have sn ghosal sn ghosal book is very good book and for particle physics look particle physics you can go by a book by david j griffiths the concept of uh, introduction to elementary particles but i will recommend you to go take a shortcut uh you all have this book modern physics by um arthur bejan na this book has this portion of particle physics which is written in a very well manner i'm very much impressed by that particle physics portion so you can cover that particle physics portion from this arthur bejan book other than that if you are interested to go little advanced you can go for uh, introduction to introduction to elementary particles elementary particles by david j griffiths okay so these are the total books you can refer to and one additional book i would like to suggest you which will combiningly cover atomic molecular nuclear and particle if you want to if you cannot afford this many books for all these such atomic molecular nuclear particle if you want to buy only one book that book will be modern physics by ab gupta this book is very good all the four topics starting from atomic molecular nuclear particle all the four topics you can get it in a single book so the, you should have this book nuclear physics part is given in a very well structured beautiful way particle physics part is also given in a standard way very good way atomic part is also given in a good way molecular physics also given in a very beautiful way this book is must i would say okay this book is must and this arthur bizer book is must you should keep and whatever books i have told you <coughs> these are like very important book interesting book and these are the minimum you should also you should keep i can suggest four five additional books in each subject but i am not doing that okay i am keeping it bare minimum so i hope i think most of the physics students already have like 70 to 80% of the books which i have just written okay so i hope this will help you to start your preparation and another announcement guys i have already done it i i, I did it on the last day that we have launched a complete batch course for the upcoming csr net december 2024 and get and back 2025 this batch will even valid from august 2024 to march 2025 march 2025 the reason is to cover this extra two exams get and back and this course will be conducted purely in english no hindi okay purely in english although you can ask your doubts in english hindi or bengali okay these three languages i know so i can handle those doubts but overall the course will be conducted in pure english and it will be in hybrid mode few portion will be live few portion will be recorded and what are our offerings video lectures topic wise assignments pdf notes short notes test series you can download and print topic wise assignments class notes okay <coughs> and those students will be will be enrolled in this course the mock interviews will be complimentary to this course
okay like uh, if you are appearing for brc or some phd interviews then if we launch any course in future then you can you will be automatically added okay if you request <coughs> other thing are mentioned in the website you can check the link given in the description and if you have any other queries or any query in general you can message me on this number 7001439942 you can also call me okay messaging will be preferred and as this is the launching although the price has been kept at uh, 9999 but as this is a launching the launching offer has been kept you can get it at a minimum of 6500 till 5th august okay 2024 and we'll start roughly around 5th august okay so make use of this and after that the price will be as usual uh, 9999 and uh, another thing students who are already enrolled in the top 100 most number of topics they will be getting it at 3500 they just need to pay only this upgradation fee and they will be upgraded to this course okay so this is all for this video guys you can install our physics application from the play store and you can visit our website physicsup.in www.physicsup.in for all the course related things and all the content can be access, can be access, accessed from the application and the website as well okay guys this is all for this video guys thank you if you are new to this channel please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon finally thanks for watching